it's the little things, huh? Don't you think so? Don't you find it so in your life? Sometimes a smile or uh, a little pick-me-up, a little note, comment on one of your videos. And uh, sometimes that'll be a pick-me-up and sometimes it'll be a call to go deeper into something or another that maybe you didn't see before. I've been sitting here pondering and uh, really enjoying throwing off all of the programming that uh, we were born with and given to and educated into and all the training and the teaching, all the lying textbooks, all the lying politicians and uh, just lies, lies everywhere. Well, frankly, that gets really bad and really ugly and heinous after a while. And I've, I've reached a point, though, where I'm having fun. Because what we get to do, if you'll just look at it, is we get to rewrite things our way. We get to ditch it all and pitch it all and come up with what we know from deep inside of ourselves is just right. And then we share that with one another, you know, ain't life grand. Well, here's a little thing that I want to share and see if we can't get, just among those of us who visit here, something going about respect. Um, I have found some things in heart that really surprised me. It's a huge kingdom. It's really different and uh, not easily explored. It's infinite, you know. Uh, one of the biggest things to surprise me that I found within heart was humility. I never thought of that as being any kind of a divine attribute, but it must be. There's an emptiness, and out of this emptiness, it's like this blooms, this humility of knowing we don't know anything, and it's really beautiful, but that's not what I wanted to. I also found and continue to find within myself um, a respect so deep for everyone that it's another one of those divine attributes that we can all find in heart. Uh, so here's what I want to suggest. Let's clean up our part of the YouTube comment threads. There's not one of us that doesn't get a little ticked off sometimes by something somebody said or whatever. And uh, I, I, I'm in that group. Uh, there are any number of times when I'll write a comment and I'll, I'll put it off to the side. I'll put it on WordPad and leave it alone. And if it's intense enough, I'll sleep on it. And there hasn't been a time when that comment didn't soften and actually become beautiful in the end. And so it's the human part of us that wants to do the knee-jerk thing and just respond and, and, you know, well, they dished it out and so we'll give them a little of theirs back, that kind of thing. That is so 2011. That is so the old world. And, uh, or the old earth, we could call it. And we're bringing in the new earth. And in this new earth, here's what I want to share. And this, this will get over onto touchy ground. Do you know there are some people that will lash out at you just because you say source instead of God? Um, I want to be, and I am, totally supportive of all ranges of belief, you know, as long as they do no harm. Um, and even, you know, the powers that were, if they want to believe what they want to believe, I'm supportive of that too. I just don't want to live in the same world with them. And I'm really glad that Source appears to be taking care of that for us. And so there's this parting of the ways, there's this sorting out 
that I hope you can see going on too. Uh, it gets more and more obvious to me. Not only are people sorting out from other people, but within ourselves, we're sorting out from old attitudes, old beliefs, old preferences that are just falling away, just like some relationships, uh, many relationships are just falling away. And so there's a sorting out going on everywhere. No doubt it's going on in Mother Earth too. Uh, I just spend so much time in the house that I, I don't spend sufficient time out in Mother Nature to be able to speak to that. But I do spend enough time on YouTube. And uh, as I've shared before, I'm making more comments now. Uh, I find it turns out that it was fear a lot of times that was keeping my mouth shut. Isn't that interesting? We really don't know ourselves, friends. We don't. And as long as we're open and spend a lot of time in heart, that changes. That changes. And, and we're shown, you know, bit by bit we're shown things. So here's what I want to suggest. I want to suggest a divine sort of respect, that we respect everyone. I mean, it's all the one. It's all the one. But where I was going off on some touchy ground is uh, I'm going to tackle religion with this. I don't care whether you have a religion or whether you don't, and I don't care what your religion is. I'm unconditionally supportive of you. And so from a perspective like that, respect is easy. There are a lot of other perspectives wandering around right now that could maybe use a little work, a little adjustment. And so um, I'd like to share this. Even if you find someone who's just has the worst beliefs that you could imagine, that doesn't mean that they're not worthy of respect. And so we can have conversations in the social media without being judgmental. See, it's not up to me what your religion is, what your beliefs are, nor is it up to you what mine are. And so I th there's an increased maturity I'm finding in myself and in a lot of people that I think we can grab onto. I think that we can safely see this as a part of higher self coming down. Uh, remember, we want to incarnate our higher self here, not to run away and uh, turn our back on this, but instead to convert it right where it stands and to be the fullness of, of whatever light God will shine through us right while we're here. Uh, I believe if we're going into a higher dimension than the earth is too, and the sun and the solar system, why not? I mean, you know, it'll all work itself out one day and we'll be able to look at it and say, oh, well, of course, of course it was going to work out that way. You know, why didn't we see it? Meanwhile, we don't know. Uh, so my suggestion is everyone within yourself, find some joy in creating your perfect world in your thoughts, in your pondering, take the things that give you joy. And one of mine is to give and receive respect. And so I want to amplify that. Now I've been sharing that silently for a long time, just in the way I comment and interact with people. Uh, but I'm taking it the next step now and I'm, I'm sharing it this way. Uh, there, there is a real We've gotten locked into a real adolescent immaturity in our interactions with one another, um, cross-religion, 
or between people in religions and people that have none or whatever, you know. Um, this is one of the most difficult areas because I'm going to say it like I see it. I see people who hold beliefs, religious beliefs, uh, and all Christians, you know, that are elevating Jesus Christ and his ways and yet not walking their talk. They're being unkind and judgmental and treating people as if they were the scum of the earth just because they hold different beliefs. And I don't suggest that's the way to go about it. And so, as always, you take from this whatever works for you, whatever feels right. But what I'd like to see is some restraint in the comments. And if we would come at them from heart, see, remember, if we want to make change in the outside world, we do the changing within. And it's actually in walking our talk, in, in just being the best and the brightest that we can be, just that. It's alchemical, and it brings the changes. Um, I don't know what else I can say. Um, you know I don't believe that we need to be trying to convert anyone to our beliefs. Uh, as a matter of fact, we can learn from everyone, you know. So rather than being so full of ourself that we're trying to convert people, I think it's better just to share what comes to your heart with respect and then see what's there for you because there's no such thing as coincidence. It's not a possibility. The cosmos isn't put together that way. And so everything that comes our way has a deeper message than just the one that was intended by the sender or the feather at your feet, you know, as you get out of your car or whatever it is, everything. Um, if we were totally in tune with Mother Earth and with Source, there would be a difference based on did the, the breeze that touched your cheek blow from the east or the west. There's, there's a meaning in everything and the underlying bottom line of all of it is love. But there's more. There's the joy and the dance of interaction. And so as we, everything is source, everything. That feather, you know, not only was it laid there by source, it is source. The breeze, all of it, all of it, all of it, is the greatest love affair that ever was, that we have been so totally blind to for so very long, but we're now waking up. We can't even imagine the extent to which we are loved. Now, male or female, you've all had plenty of incarnations and you've all been a mother before. I want you to envision yourself as a mother. And let's say you have 21 kids. This is back in the 1800s or something when we had large families. As you're watching your children interact with one another, um, it can tear at your heart when one of them is deeply unkind to another or when one tends to get picked on and so on. And there's not a lot that a mother can do about it. It's like they say, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink. You can't make your kids do anything. Not really. Uh, the real change has to come from within them. And they have to see it. They have to get it. They have to put it together for themselves. 
Well, now imagine that you're source and you're the, the father, mother of all of us. Well, source is mother too. You're the mother of all of us. And you're watching us interact. It's difficult to see the non-loving ways. I mean, we're perfectly lovely people, all of us. And yet, religion you can tell just on the surface of it, religion has been used as a tool to get us to be deeply unkind, even cruel to one another, to kill, you know, to, to do things like the, the Crusades. And it's not only Christianity. I mean, any religion. I am not picking on Christianity. I happen to believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, not in a way that would suit some people, but you know, it, it's my business and I'm, I'm happy, I'm joyful, it's good enough for me. Well, I think that's how other people feel about the way they've put their reality together. And I think it's on all of us to take it up, not just a notch, I'm going to say let's take it up three pegs and really give the beauty of that respect. Start shining from your heart when you comment. And sometimes it's difficult things that, that deserve to be said, but they can be said respectfully, even with love. You would be so surprised if, if you got a harsh comment that, that you're, you're responding to. If you just write up a draft and then wait an hour and write up another draft, you know. And then before you go to bed, write up another draft. And then when you get up in the morning, uh, with me, the chances are about a uh, hundred percent that none of it will be good enough. And what comes out of the morning's writing is just perfect, you know. It's something that I would want to receive. Sure, we can also remember, hey, we're going to stand uh, at death, you know, of the body. If the body dies this time, we might take it with us. But let's just say the body will die and we'll have a life review. And we'll get to be on the receiving end of everything we ever said. Now, I know comments on YouTube are not a huge deal, but folks, it is the little things we've been taught wrong and it's time to ditch the beliefs that say only the big stuff matters. It reminds me of that, that lovely southern Christian lady who just spent all of her time with her church and charity and giving donations and working for the soup kitchen and that kind of thing and she's in her life review and she's blown away to discover the impulsive helping somebody get across a busy street was worth more than that all of that other stuff you know the values of our higher self are nothing like those of the mind of our programming we've got it all wrong we really do uh, that's one thing we can be pretty darn sure of and so let's find the grace and humility inside to inspire us to a new level of respect. Namaste.